Hello ladies and gentlemen, just before I start I'm having a really bad hair day, right? I'm doing this video because purely I just want to know, like, I need to be diagnosed again. As you guys know I've been sober for two months, I am having blips but I'm doing much much better than what I was. One to Kaylee, nil to alcohol. Um, but apart from that, I'm I'm concentrating more now on my, what can I hear? On my mental health. Because it's really starting to annoy me. Um, there's always been this question with um, with psychiatrists and, doc and doctors with me that the professional people that I've seen, is she bipolar, is she BPD? The last diagnosis was by uh, BPD, right? I have been sort of high for the last two months. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, like, but I'm having moments of sadness out in a way. Um... I get these overwhelming feelings um, of like I'm so high I feel like I'm coming up off a drug. That's the only way I can explain it. And my mind's going a million times a minute, and I'm trying to get all and I mean this. I'm trying to get all this all this out to me in time for people to understand what I'm saying. And um, then I get angry because people are saying, "Whoa, you're going too quick." Just you know, because I go off one subject onto another, and I'm bouncing back and forth, back and forth. And I've been like this for a while now, and I know this is, you know, a symptom of being manic, right? One of the biggest symptoms of being manic is you can't stop. But when people, I've always said, oh, being manic is fun. It's far from fun, because it might look fun. It might, oh, I, you know, give me some, you know, a lot of people say, give me some of what you were on. You don't want to be what I'm on. Trust me. I'm supposed to make you feel like a zombie. My tablets are not working anymore. I'm taking my tablets every night and every morning. Um, I just feel like the world is too slow half the time around me. I feel like I'm going, Wah. I'm just getting on with shit and people are just like, just floating. Do you know what I mean? Like, um, then I get, as I said, I get these moments of sadness where I don't tell anyone about them, but I, I just sit there and cry. Um, could be about something, doesn't have to be. Do you know what I mean? Um... But obviously, I'm far from a doctor telling me that I have depression and anxiety, right? There's a lot of shit going on up in here that is much worse than that. And don't get me wrong, anxiety and depression, anxiety on its own is one hell of a motherfucker to, you know, to handle, right? Because even with anxiety, all these other symptoms come with that. You know, you get paranoia from that. You get lack of sleep. This, it all, all, as I always say in every video, all everything intertwines right but I'm at the point now where I really am tired of myself now I don't know whether I'm coming like down off this high I've been on and I say this I hope not but I'm convinced that I have BPD and bipolar is that possible I yeah of course it is right because I've got like I don't know, like like the attachment issues, if you like, with the BPD. I've always had, as I say, I always jump into the deep end with a relationship where they're still trying to get to know my name. I'm in love with them and married and got five kids already. Do you know what I mean? There's parts of me with BPD symptoms, but my moods are like bipolar. Like, and I don't mean like the angry moods or this. I'm in between moods. I'm on about overly happy. Let's party! Or oh, sad as fuck. Everyone leave me the fuck alone. There's no in-between. I can't remember the last time I felt in-between. And I'm concentrating more now on my mental illness because obviously I'm not drinking. This is what I was told by the psychiatrist. This is what I was told by the crisis team. Stop drinking and then we can assess you. I'm, at the ver I'm on the verge of not believing in the system anymore. There's much more help out there now for mentally ill people, I do know that, but is it enough? Because there's so many, of you know, many people suffering. And I'm just frustrated right now that they, you know, I've told them a million times that I need to change my tablets, you know. They upped my dose. And for, I tell you what it all is. Oh, let's just up our doors. Maybe we we won't hear off her for a few weeks because she'll be sitting there like a fucking zombie, stuffing her face, increased 
uh, appetite and, you know, just like this. Um, okay, I'm fine. Oh, who wants to fucking live like that? Do you know what I mean? Now, I know I've had my therapist, but there is a certain, um, like, people with BPD, they get certain therapy, like, I can't really remember what it's called. If you can remember what it's called, please comment below and let me know, because that's all I've been thinking about. I needed, like, a certain kind of therapy to help me manage these outbursts of anger and as I say I get so frustrated because the world is going so slow and I'm going too quick um I loved what um what Gene Slater said on his um I think it was about three episodes ago when she was in the caravan and she knew Lily was in the box if anyone watch, watches his standards um, Stacey's little girl came in in the box and um, she knew she was in there and she was talking to herself and she said um, she said I think she said something like do you ever think um, does anyone ever like worry about something along the lines of worry about looking normal because they've been normal all their life what is normal do you mean I love that line it wasn't the exact you know it's not uh, not quoting what she said but it's something along those lines and I thought that was brilliant I thought it was the most brilliant speech I've heard in a long time when it comes to mental illness and um you know well they've got bipolar haven't they Stacey and, and Jean you know I'm watching them too you know I have had uh psychosis bad psychosis um you know paranoid delusions I've had it all I'm much better than that now I think um I, I still overthink, I say overthink things, but we can't help it, can we? Because I don't know whether you're like me, if I get something in my mind, it sticks there. Same as like, if I have an argument with somebody and they could say one thing to me and they don't realise they've done it, but that will stick with me for the rest of my life. Um, say if somebody called me fat, well, that would it, I, I wouldn't eat for weeks. Do you know what I mean? It's, stuff, it's the emotional side of things. I'm very, very, I am a very emotional person. Um, but all these things, right, I'm so, like, as I said, so frustrated and fed up with thinking, what the hell am I? Oh, you're bipolar this week, oh, you're BPD now. Well, I think I've just got the mood, the mood swings, the up and down, the happy and sad of bipolar, which, which is, you know, how long they last. Everything else is BPD, like, but I still have, like, delusions and, like, I can be so delusional and something that you just believe because you do believe it and it's a strong belief within you and there's nothing anyone can say even if there is definitive proof in front of me I can say go f go sh shove your proof up your ass I know what I'm talking about you know um you know, I've, I've seen things I've heard things you know I do sometimes um not as bad as I used to I think that's what the meds have helped with is seeing things and hearing things because I, it was really bad. Um, if you watch my um, I was section video, I think I do say that in there. That was a part as well. I was seeing and hearing things. If I didn't say it in there, then I missed it out, but I did. I thought long and hard about doing that video as well. Mm. <coughs> this is exactly how I feel right now. There's no other way that I can explain it. So frustrated. I just want to put all my symptoms, all my diagnoses, right, I can't say that, everything that I feel, and I want to put it in a little box, right? And I want to be able to tick that box. Do you understand what I mean? I want to know exactly where I am, but I can't because nobody seems to be helping me right now. Could be my fault. I did relapse over the weekend with the rugby. Wales won. Oh, the grand slam. Oh, shit happened, right? And I, I do tend to ring the crisis team when I've had a drink and, go, and cry to them. Not their responsibility for a drunk person. Do you know what I mean? And I'm not really helping myself with that. But um, as I say, guys, there's nothing more I can do except take my tablets. You know, my therapy's ended. As I told you before, I was really iffy about that because I felt like I was going out in the big bad, big bad world of my own. But um, no, I, I'm not there yet, guys. I'm not not content enough with how I manage my feelings yet to be let loose. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Um, 
I'm not saying, you know, I wish the men in white coats would come and get me now and strap me up and tra, right? Because I'm, I'm not, you know, I'm not a danger to, to anyone. Might be a little bit of a danger to myself, um, which is, you know, we all are really, aren't we, you know? I mean, what is, as, what is normal, you know? Is there so such thing as a normal, altogether human, human being? Is there? Because if there is, if you're watching right now and you think you're all together, please message me. <laughs> yeah, I, I just want closure on my box. <laughs> box of feelings or my symptoms box. My I'm going to call it my symptom box, right? I want closure on that box. That's all. You know, I use all my energy energy each day you know i i clean a million times you know i got all, i got a bit of ocd um in that area yeah there's not much i haven't got guys trust me but living with the with the little void in your life niggling at you what am i what am i why don't you give me a straight answer in it the last professional worker i seen she she went all the way back to somebody diagnosing me with um personality personality defect difficulties or something i was going way past that love jesus i just think i need to wise up now and go and speak to somebody and sort of swallow my pride i'm so sorry i rang, rang you when i was drunk make an appointment and go and see somebody and say look you know just write down i did write down how i was feeling the other day, like, every single, like, thing, symptom, this, that, blah, blah, blah. Well, it's probably got now and there because I'm a douchebag as usual. Da -da 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 -da. Puppy power! He's sleeping. Gone, guys, properly. Oh, uh, gone. Gone, hurry up. Anyway. I, was, I literally just put down, you know, just fear of this, fear of that, anxious, all the things that come with anxiety, this and that, you know, and I just wrote it all down and thought, right, I'll take it there. But I remember what happened last time, oh, did you get all off the internet? Fuck off. Do you know what I mean? This is how I feel. Do you know what I mean? Mind you, I did sit them down once and go through the actual, um, all the traits of BPD and I said, I got each and every one of them. What are you going to do about it? But, you know, loads of people in society live with BPD and are able to manage it. And people look at BPD, sometimes I think, personally, and don't really class it as a serious mental illness. But in my eyes, if it's like ruining your fucking relationships, every aspect of your life is being owned by this illness, surely that should, you know be caused to say, well, yes, it is a serious mental illness and it can just distract you from, from what sort of path you really want to go down, you know? It's like if somebody says, oh, she's schizophrenic, oh, then, serious. Do you know what I mean? But you think of all the symptoms, you know, look up schizophrenia and look up BPD. You know, there was a time where I was seeing and hearing things you know, there, there was things that was telling me what to do. I was told to stab somebody, you know. I was told to hurt my parents. And I'd sit there rocking back and forth crying. There's been times where I've been so ill. Um, but my real mother, she had, she had schizophrenia. And, you know, there's times where I've sat and cried thinking, oh my God, I'm schizophrenic. Because... There are times as well where I feel dis I can't say this word, never been able to say it, dissociated. Dissociated from the world. I just go out to the world and I I'm just I just don't feel myself. Um That's the only way I can explain that. I'm shit at explaining things, aren't I? Um yeah guys. I'm just at the point now where I'm really, really annoyed with other people and myself because I don't know like does this just carry on do I just leave this carry on is it going to get to the point where 
I can't handle it anymore. My highs and my lows and I and I drink again. And then I'm just going round and round in circles. Do I put myself in rehab? Don't need a detox, but I, I could save up and, you know, put myself back in rehab. Will that help? Because I know what rehab is all about. It's like second nature, you know. Do I do that? There are, I mean, the last two days, um, I haven't had alcohol in the fridge. I get, yeah. It's either like, or do I just let myself go worse? And then maybe somebody will take notice of me when I'm sitting there rocking back and forth with tears streaming down my eyes again, saying I'm hearing things, and which, which I was. Um, I remember sitting in my mother's, my bedroom in my mother's house, no, my mother's bedroom. They went out and I was sitting there with a piece of pen and paper in total and utter silence, listening to what the voices were saying. They were downstairs in the kitchen. I know that sounds weird. But they were. There was nobody in the house. But there was to me. Um, and they were speaking to each other. There was, I think if I remember rightly, there was this girl. They were all evil. They, they weren't nice at all. There was this, there was this, there, were, there was a demon. There was a girl. And there was another person. And they were telling me to delete certain phone numbers in my phone, certain text messages, write a new number in my phone, do this. That They were telling me exactly what to do for them. I wasn't sleeping, I wasn't eating, I was just listening to the voices constantly for two madness and that's all I can tell people. I didn't trust anyone, they were telling me I didn't, I didn't trust my mother, I was out to hurt them, I was stopping myself but I really wanted to hurt them because the voices was telling me all these things that when I was growing up this is what they were doing and it was awful and I don't want to go back to that. That was just me being totally and utterly honest with whoever's watching. Um, that's another big thing as well. I can meet somebody for two seconds and give them my whole life story. Is that part of BPD? Because I just... Do you know what I mean? What to name this video? BPD or bipolar? Oh, frustration, yeah. No copyright here, just made it up. Um, Alright guys, well as you can see, I'm awfully hyped, but I'm like this all day, every day. As, as you, you know, you're probably looking at me, if you don't suffer from mental illness yourself, and just clicked on a random video. Um, yeah, um, I gotta go, sorry, my mother's ringing me and I cannot, uh, I gotta have to bring her back. Thank you ever so much for watching my video, sorry to the, for the abrupt end. Thank you, take care, and I'll see you soon. Take care now, bye-bye then. Stay crazy.